Two of the most common questions I get about bone spurs are, do bone spurs keep growing and do they grow back after surgery? And the answer is yes and no, and it's complicated. And with the top of the foot theme we have this week, and this is the most common one again that we see in the middle of the foot where they form between the caneiforms and the metatarsal basis, uh, they don't really grow back and it does depend on the individual, but it also depends on the surgical technique. So for example, if the spurring's high and it's playing down with an instrument or a power burr, it's best to give it a little dip, a little concave area, a little recess, because bone, once it's invaded or injured, it not only heals, but sometimes it can overheal or lay down more calcium. So if it's flat, it can actually lay, more, lay down more calcium as it's healing, looking like the spur uh, was coming back. So no, if it's if the surgery is performed correctly, it won't come back. Also, uh, some spurs, they're like the back of the heel here. I'll shoot an x-ray and I'll see the Achilles tendon and a large spur in the back, ask the, ask the patient uh, who came in for something glass in the foot or another problem in the top. And I'll say, hey, listen, um, have you had pain back there before? No, it doesn't bother me at all. So again, this, it's the symptoms that really drive the problems. They don't come and go. And it's, and it's uh, right where the tendon ligament uh, capsule or fascia, like in the bottom of the foot, attach. So again, uh, depending on the patient or the procedure, uh, they really don't grow back. Uh, it just depends on uh, how much was removed and of course what area of the foot it was in. If you'd like to see these types of surgeries, uh, those are on my Dr. Robert J. Moore the Third YouTube channel. I have surgeries uh, from other types of problems and other, other areas of the foot as well. The Ask Dr. Moore channel, you can even lodge your own question and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can along with the other Ask Dr. Moore questions that are on that channel. Again, hopefully that was helpful. Stay healthy and one step ahead.